Alright, what is up guys, JFM here, back with another video. Now, in this video, I just want to show you guys how to download maps and put them on your device. This works for jailbroken and non-jailbroken. I, I wanted to do one that's universal, so here we go. All you're going to need is iPhone Box and WinRAR, Win excuse me. Both of them will be in the description, so just download those. But um, the first thing that you want to do is get the map. After you've uh, installed the two programs, get the map. Um, I'm just doing TPO Center here. It usually brings you to Mediafire or Drive. Dropbox, either one's fine. Um, just hit the download button, and it should pop up in in the downloads tray if you're using Chrome, or you can just go into your downloads folder on your computer. So what I like to do is just bring it out into the desktop and put it out there. Uh, oh, that jumped off to the side, so for some reason. All right, the next thing you want to do is with WinRAR, um, right click on it or open it up and pull it out. Uh, pull the folder that's inside out and that's usually how most maps go and then you'll have the world folder itself and you can delete the zip folder. So now you have the world folder itself and all you need to do is open up iFunBox and you also need to have iTunes for this. Uh, it won't work if you don't have iTunes on your computer with your phone connected so you don't have to have iTunes open just have it registered with iTunes. So um, just go ahead and plug in your device. I'll do so right now and it should pop up, just give it a second, and it's up. Okay, so once you click on it, um, you just want to go into Applications, and it'll show you all your applications here, but um, you just want to go to Minecraft Pocket Edition, then go on to the left, uh, where it says Documentos, and the other ones aren't really necessary for doing anything with Worlds, so just go to the folder on the left here, and go into Games, Com, Mojang, and then go to this one that says Minecraft Worlds, and this is where all your worlds are. Then, um, exit out of that, and you can drop your world folder into uh, this folder, and it's that simple. Now, I just realized that I already had this world, uh, so I'll go ahead and delete it and show you guys that it actually does work. Um, I'll go ahead and delete this one, and uh, you can see it actually it goes in there. It adds, it adds the world in there. So, yeah, it works just like that, and it's really, really fast and probably the easiest thing to do ever. <laughs> so, one thing you do want to make sure, though, is um, you have to have at least the level.dat chunks. Um, it doesn't have to have the player, but make sure it has some of these files. These picture files, not every map is going to have them. Very rarely you're going to see them. Uh, they're not necessary. That's just for the map's advertisement, but uh, make sure you have these, these uh, at least some of these that I'm highlighting, because that means it's a map. So, yeah, um, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed. I will talk to you guys later, and as always, stay frosty, my friends. Peace, guys. See ya.